we have hundreds of customer references of how they've used our technology to become more sustainable. Maybe one great example is Hugo Back, an OEM line builder that took our digital twin technology and used it to design a piece of packaging uh, machinery that's able to reduce their overall packaging volume by 10%, the energy usage by 20%, and the material used by 30%. Siemens, like so many industrial players, are really challenged as we look at our commitments to reduce our scope three upstream emissions, really looking at our supply chains. How we're working to overcome that is we're really starting at the design process because we know so many of those impacts are determined there. So we're really rethinking how we make products, how much material is needed, what materials we're choosing. At the same time, we're working with our suppliers to help them reduce their emissions and help give them tools where we can better collaborate and leverage best practices to overcome those supply chain challenges. The really key thing about the Siemens Ecotech is that we give unprecedented transparency. We give the customers the information they need to make the most sustainable decisions. We then use our profile to put it into a context where the customer can see what that means for them in the industries that they're operating in. And so we really see this giving them more empowerment, clearer data to make better decisions for themselves. With our Siemens Accelerator ecosystem, we're able to bring people together in new and unprecedented ways, really driving collaboration from small companies with large companies. Maybe one great example we have on the fair is the collaboration that we're supporting between AB InBev, one of our larger customers, and Ekonoke, a startup that's making hops in a controlled environment farming, and really helping give them the tools to scale that hop production and help empower that particular um, enterprise to grow in a way that would not be possible without open, collaborative technology. Well, carbon neutrality is a super important goal for us at Siemens. Our sustainability ambitions don't end there. We really need to start now, continuing to drive circularity into our designs at the same time we're working toward carbon neutrality. And we talk about that with our robust eco-design and with the parameters we've set for our Ecotech label. With our robust eco-design process at Siemens, we're really thinking about sustainability holistically along the entire life cycle at the beginning of the process. We know so many 80 plus percent of those environmental impacts are determined at the design phase. So you have to understand cradle to next cradle what you want to do with that product to design it in a more sustainable and still a high performance way. To achieve net zero, the entire planet needs to reduce its energy consumption by 45%. It's a pretty tall order standing here in 2024. How we get there though is through technology, using that to move faster than we've ever thought possible. I was told last week that the slowest day of my life was yesterday and technology will help us continue to move faster and technologies like generative AI, we already see how they're creating speed for us and efficiency and this is how I think we get there. What I love about working in sustainability at Siemens is how we're connecting people, how we're collaborating in new and almost radical ways, and seeing the impact you can have when you're able to do that. One of the best unexpected benefits we've seen from really focusing on sustainability at Siemens is how it helps us attract the best talent. We see the future workforce really valuing their purpose and their outcomes in their work and a more sustainable planet for them, their children and their grandchildren is super important to them. At Siemens, we operate globally, but we also think and execute locally. We look at what's important in those regions for sustainability, what are their biggest challenges, whether that's land use or water, and we try and put the solutions in those spaces that best serve those areas.